Hi guys, it's Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell with all notifications if you're wanting to get notified when we upload new content. This reading is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So let's get into the energy for Taurus and then we'll get into the energy of all 12 signs. So with that, Holy Spirit, Angel, Spirits, and Guides, Clarity and Guidance for Taurus, please. Okay, Taurus. Okay, hold on. One more, one more. They've got shh, cards trying to flip out. Let's get one more here for Taurus. Okay. So Taurus, you are coming in as a king of pentacles and a king of wands. And there's there's some kind of discontent or I feel like somebody's maybe angry. So I feel like there may be a fight or uh, there's somebody who's very unhappy with a king of wands. King of Pentacles, unhappy with the King of Wands. So let's see what's going on for Taurus. So Holy Spirit, Angel, Spirits, and Guides, give me all 12 signs around Taurus, starting with Aries. If you're dealing with an Aries, somebody's missing somebody in a new beginning. Like this person, they miss somebody that they love, they're, that they're in a relationship with. But this person could be at a distance from somebody, but they're they're missing their love in a relationship. They're like... Yeah, I feel like they could be at a distance, you know, maybe a long, long distance love affair or somebody who's deployed could be either or um, if you're dealing with another Taurus, um, somebody wants a victory and justice. They want a justice. They want victory. Um, somebody there is an offer for a new beginning uh, or a family situation and somebody is looking for a victory in this situation. They want to offer a 10 of cups. They want to offer all 10 cups and have justice. This person could be wanting to get married. They want a victory here. So that's Taurus energy. If you're dealing with a Gemini, I feel like there's an ending to all of the trying to win at all cost play in mind games. And so because somebody's moving on. So Gemini are you moving on from a narcissist because you've ended something and you're moving on because somebody's always trying to win at all costs playing mind games? If you're dealing with a cancer, uh, there is somebody needing some strength for some burdens um, they need to heal. They're needing strength to heal the burdens. If you're dealing with a Leo, Leo is wanting to be with you, Taurus. They want to reconcile. Um, they're holding on. They're wanting to offer their cup because they want to reconcile. You're dealing with a Virgo. Virgo is coming in as a, a hermit, which is Virgo energy. So someone's getting some clarity about their two of cups. There's a, a truth being spoken. So someone's speaking the truth about uh, their partnership or um, clarity and a truth being spoken about the two of cups. So somebody is telling the truth about something. If you're dealing with a Libra, Libra is waiting to see something from a different perspective. Libra energy, waiting to see something from a different perspective. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, Scorpio is, I feel like they're rushing in to speak a harsh truth. It may cause an argument with that page of wands. It may cause an argument um, with somebody from the past. So if somebody comes in rushing to speak a harsh truth, it will cause a fight. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, you have the Empress and you have divine timing. And you have the sun. So happiness for the empress and divine timing. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, you have somebody who is wanting. Okay. Somebody may have breadcrumbed somebody for a new passionate beginning, obsessive. Someone could have been obsessed with sex. They may have breadcrumbed you because they're obsessed with sex. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, somebody's at a crossroads, out in the cold, wanting to communicate. They're trying to figure out how they can communicate. How can they get back to where they were? 
if you're dealing with a Pisces, you have an empress and a pre-empress, an, an emperor and a, and a, and a pre-empress, but somebody's very jealous of the two of them. There's a lot of drama around the pre-empress and the emperor. You're dealing with Pisces. So let's get into this for Taurus. Taurus, you are not happy with the king of wands. What is going on between you and the fire sign? Let's see. What is going on for Taurus? What is going on for Taurus, please? What does Taurus need to know? Okay, one more. Okay. What's Taurus need to know? I feel like somebody is trying to block or stand their ground. Somebody's very guarded and defensive. Has to do with a choice or a soulmate. It's a choice because there's 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 juggling. So maybe someone's had it. Someone's had it with somebody juggling. With this standing your ground or blocking somebody, because you're very guarded and defensive, you know, you have a little bit of fight left, but you're, you're, you've had it, you've done, you're not, you're going to block it and say, F it. That's what I feel like. Because there's a choice between two, somebody's juggling and breadcrumbing. Um, I feel like um, to have a new beginning, what is this? There's no equal give and take to have a new beginning. Someone's trying to master their emotions. You have a king of cups and a queen of cups. I feel like you, you both could be in your feelings. I feel like that's what's going on. Somebody from the past, there's communication, but there's an obsession here. Somebody's obsessed, obsessed with wanting to be with somebody, obsessed with that, with that knight of cups, wanting to come in and be with somebody. But there's an ending here. Okay. Something's going to end because somebody saw what happened. They see it. They saw the juggling with that page of swords. This is gathering information, truthful communication, or spying, okay? So when you have the death card and ending, um, this is an apology. Someone may try to apologize for what somebody saw. There is going to be communication here about reconciling. And working it out. Somebody's going to try to work it out, right? Under the bottom of the deck, I have a queen of wands. Could be an uh, Aries, Leo, or a Sag. But somebody's you're unhappy with a king of wands for a reason, okay? And it may be because you saw what you saw. It could be you. But I feel like this, this king of cups, queen of cups, I, I don't even feel like that's... I, I feel like that you're both in the your emotions, you're mastering, you're both trying to master your emotions or use your intuition. I don't feel like you're dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio here for some reason. I feel like that's just kind of, you both are matching each other's energy in a situation. So who's blocked or who's standing their ground? Someone's trying to block the burden. Feeling very, very... um wounded warrior and needing to heal like you feel broken needing to heal like you've had enough right because of a choice but somebody's wish fulfillment is what deception okay there's a choice between two but you feel like they're they're their wish is just to keep lying about it. They just keep lying about it. That's why you're so broken. And that's why you're so, you've had enough in this situation, whether it's you Taurus or the person you're dealing with, one of you've had, has had enough because of the juggling a relationship. Right. And I feel like there's no equal give and take. They've breadcrumbed you for an option. Right. And that new beginning is going to cause a tower moment because I feel like this person wants to come back and try to work it out with you. But if their objective is just to lie, cheat and steal, why would you want them back? Right. Trying to master their emotions. You may be watching. You may be watching. You may. You, do you see this? You literally see that this is that this is why they're apologizing. Like because they know you knew what they did. They were busted. You saw it. 
you busted them. Now, whether this was in person that you walked up on them, maybe having dinner or you saw them out somewhere, you saw it. Whatever this was, you're trying to master your emotions because of a new passionate beginning. And it has to do with this past life. So somebody from the past. So you may have seen them cheating with a baby mama, an ex. It could have been somebody from their past. Um, it may have been, you may have caught them in their car uh, traveling. So whatever this is, somebody from the past was maybe driving, traveling, whatever. You caught it. You busted them. There is, there is a passionate, actually it's emotional communication. Somebody's at a crossroads. But someone's obsessed with being guarded and defensive. Like, you, you, yeah. <laughs> that's that same energy up here. You had the seven of wands and the nine of wands. And you have the seven of wands and the nine of wands with the devil. This really tells me that you're kind of over it. Uh, you're obsessed with being over it. Like you're very guarded and defensive to, to a point of you know, walls are up. You've got the wands out. You've got seven here and nine here. So you got 16 wands ready to beat somebody over the head with them, right? You're blocking somebody. You're blocking it because of, of how you, you're, you've had enough. I feel like you're over it. But this person's trying to come towards you like they want they want justice they want to be with you they want justice there's an ending someone's apologizing for something somebody saw but you're walking away you're walking away working on the truth trying to figure it out right to move forward you're working on the truth to move forward you know the truth is is you're moving forward because you want to know the truth but you're not going to, you know, take it back, take this person back, even though they're communicating, they want to reconcile and work it out, right? There's that king of wands. There's that king of wands. No wonder you're pissed off at a king of wands. King of wands, queen of pentacles, right? That's your person. That's your person. Have a new beginning in love, right? And you're making a decision to cut somebody out for a long time. You're like, I'm over this. You may have known this person. This could have been the ex. Could have been from the ex because this person's been around for a long time. So it is somebody from the past that's been around for a long time. But you got the clarity you need, right? So guys, let's, let's see. Um, I don't see you taking this person back. I see you moving on. Right? You need strength in this situation, right? Because you want the truth. You do want the truth. Uh, because you felt like you guys were kindred spirits. You thought this was your person. And this person is just doing you dirty. But then they're they're telling you they want justice and they want to be with you, right? Is that like the biggest crock of bullshit you've ever seen? Being, being meticulous and patient. I feel like you've been more than patient, right? Because I got a spider and a snake. That sly and subtle approach is needed. Oh, they've been sly and subtle. That's the problem, right? Um, your secrets are safe or they thought they were. So, so this person was being, you know, calculated. This is calculated. Being meticulous and patient is calculated, right? And, and then sly, so I'm not, I'm not even, uh, what I'm feeling in this energy is this person was sly and calculated and, and they thought their secrets were safe, but they weren't. You caught it. You caught it, right? Unseen for forces watch over you. Strength and wisdom, right? Yeah, you have the strength and the wisdom to deal with this, Taurus. Go slow, take your time, get to know each other, protected. I feel like just go slow. I don't know about you, take the time to get to know each other because I feel like with you, it's just go slow. Take it one day at a time. You are protected, right? Warning, don't dismiss the red flags here. Don't, don't dismiss the red flags here. This person's telling you they want to be with you, but they're lying out their backside, right? I feel like you're trying to find some balance here. I, 
chemistry and interference was also under the deck. You may have chemistry with this person, but there's interference here. There is somebody that's still lurking, trying to get you out of the picture. So guys, that's all I have for you. If this resonates with you, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I hope you have a wonderful week.